a 0.3 kilogram cart at rest is hit by a mallet. The force on the cart by the mallet is described by this force versus time graph. A. Find the impulse of the mallet on the cart. B. What is the final velocity of the cart? A. The impulse on the cart equals to the area of the force versus time graph. So it will be the area right here. There's no area over there. So it is the area of this triangle plus the rectangle plus uh, the triangle. And we can flip this last triangle over and then fill it in there and it will fill completely because these two triangles they are congruent. So I can do this. Fill that one there which means the, the area will be the area of this rectangle which has a height of 4 newtons and a base of 3 times 10 to the negative first second. So this gives us uh, 1.2 and that will be newton second. What do you think is the direction of this impulse on the cart? The force of the mallet on the cart goes to the right so the impulse of the mallet on the cart also goes to the right. Part B. To find the final velocity of the cart, we can use the impulse of the cart equals to the change in momentum if we're talking about the net force. And this force from the mallet on the cart is the net force on the cart. So this impulse equals to change in momentum and impulse is 1.2 and the change in momentum is m times delta v. The mass of the cart is 0.3 kilograms and the change in velocity is the final velocity minus the initial velocity. Because the cart starts at rest, the initial velocity is zero. So this gives us the final velocity is 4 meters per second. And uh, this is positive just like the impulse, so the velocity goes to the right. And then part C. How does the speed of the cart change? Speeding up, slowing down, or maintaining constant speed in the following time range? From t equals to 0 to 0.2 second. From 0.2 second to 0.3 second from 0.3 seconds to 0.5 seconds, and finally from 0.5 seconds to 0.7 seconds. The cart starts from rest, and the force from the mallet on the cart goes to the right for the first 0.5 seconds. So the acceleration of the cart goes to the right for the entire 0.5 seconds. So the card speeds up, speeds up, speeds up for the entire 0.5 seconds. It's just that for the first 0.2 seconds, the force is increasing. That means the acceleration increases. So for this part, the card speeds up at an increasing rate. For this part, the force is a constant, so it's a constant acceleration. That means uh, the cart speeds up at a constant rate. And then for this segment, the force decreases. That means the cart is still speeding up, but it speeds up at a decreasing rate. And then for 0.5 seconds to 0.7 seconds, there is no force, no acceleration, so the cart travels at a constant speed.